Jonah's house. Jonah, a prophet of the Lord, is sitting in his house when he receives a divine message. Jonah, arise and go to the great city of Nineveh. The wickedness has come up before me. Jonah looks startled but eventually rises and prepares to fulfill God's command. Jonah arrives at the bustling port of Jaffa where a ship bound for Tarshish awaits. Scene two, ship. Jonah boards the ship, hoping to flee the, from the Lord's command. The ship set sail, heading in the opposite direction of Nineveh. The sea becomes tempestuous, a violent storm threatening to engulf the ship. What has caused this storm? We're in danger. We must cast lots to determine who has brought this calamity upon us. The lots fall on Jonah, revealing his guilt. What have you done? What God have you offended? I'm a Hebrew and worship the Lord who made the sea and dry land. Moments later, the sailors, in fear and desperation, throw Jonah into the raging sea. <laughs> Scene three, fish. As Jonah sinks into the depths, a massive fish, appointed by God, appears and swallows him whole. Jonah finds himself trapped in the belly of the fish, surrounded by darkness and despair. I called out to the Lord in my distress, and he answered me. Jonah prays earnestly to the Lord, repenting for his disobedience. 
Yet I will look again towards your holy temple. <laughs> Moments later, the fish, under the Lord's command, spits out Jonah onto yeah. dry land. Jonah, now humbled and determined, stands up and begins his journey to Nineveh. Jonah enters the great city of Nineveh, a bustling metropolis filled with sin and wickedness. Scene 4, Nineveh High Street. Jonah finds a prominent spot in the middle of the street, raises his voice and begins to preach. Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. The people of Nineveh stop in their tracks, astonished by Jonah's proclamation. Word of Jonah's warning spread like wildfire, reaching in the ears of the king. Let everyone, man and beast, be covered with sack sackcloth and cry mightily to God. Let them turn from the evil ways and from the violence that is in their hands. The people gather at a public places, dressed in sackcloth, tears streaming down their faces as they pray fervently for forgiveness. Days pass and the hearts of the Ninevites continue to change. Repentance becomes a collective cry and even reaching in the ears of the Lord. The king, overwhelmed by the city's repentance, seeks divine mercy. Who knows? God may turn and relent and turn from his fierce anger so that we may not perish. The Lord looks upon the repentance of the Ninevites and relents from bringing destruction upon them. Jonah and Nineveh re realize the depths of God's mercy and how he rights the wrongs.